here we are approaching the end of July. It's time to start thinking about pruning our apple and pear trees. First of all, let's talk about appearance. If you want to actually let the fruit tree or the apple or pear tree tell you, like this 20th century pear here beside me, you can actually look at what's called the terminal growth. And that is at the very tips of the tree. If you look closely, if the tips are hardening off like this particular branch is here and it has no vigorous new growth or points to it and the leaves are really hardening off, that means it's done with its aggressive growth spurt. When 75% plus of the canopy is in this state, you can trim. This is a good example of a terminal bud that's still in aggressive state of growth. Okay, as you can see, there's not leaves at the tip, it's still gonna sprout out. But predominantly, most of this tree actually has hardened off, so it's a good time to trim. Two is timing. You can simply just say midsummer, and that usually lands around the end of July or the first few weeks of August. So those are the two basic rules of thumb of when you would actually do summer pruning of apple and pear trees. Be sure to clean your clippers, make sure we're not spreading viruses and bacteria from one fruit tree to the next, and let's dive into this here. And it's this simple, okay? In summer pruning, you're basically gonna cut out most of the aggressive new growth, and you come back within one to two inches of where it actually flushed that year. And this is the basic rule of thumb on a tree that is of some size, and you're trying to use size control. And basically, there's two main reasons why you're gonna trim during the summer on your apple and pear trees. One is vigorous growth suppression, okay, to keep the tree from getting too large on you because in backyard orchard culture, we definitely want very low built trees, stoutly built trees, uh, heavy production low, easy to maintenance, easy to handle, easy to pick, okay, but just a much more pleasant experience overall in the long run and relationship with the tree. And two, okay, is for heavy spurring. When you trim and leave only one or two inches, just that nubby, uh, uh, when you take out most of that year's flush, that's actually gonna promote lots of fruiting spurs, okay? So basically, if you come in here, and you see where it flushed out this year, we're gonna trim it back. See how I just left? You can see the softwood, that's where it flushed. We're gonna actually have fruiting spurs there and this might become a fruiting spur as well. So those are the two reasons why you actually wanna do summer pruning. Vigorous growth suppression and heavy fruit production. All right, so this pear tree's done, all right? See how I've got it sized down? It's not much taller than me. There was uh, branches literally that had shot up another three, four foot. This tree was up to about 11 feet. Uh, when I first approached it, a vigorous new growth. I just kind of came down all that and nipped everything back to uh, little nubbies and that's what you're trying to do all right you're not actually cutting into the fruiting wood you're just cutting out the vigorous new growth and leaving little one to two inch nubs here's a young Braeburn apple and I'm gonna come in and just really take out you can see where it's soft okay that's where it flushed this year I'm just gonna nip that all right this tree's a little bit or actually two years younger than that pear tree we're trimming uh but really it's got a few apples on it this year it'll be ready here in another six weeks just gonna get a little bit more sunlight on those apples as well Which, by the way i did clean my clippers before i started trimming on this tree if there's fire blight in a pear tree or apple tree you can spread one tree to another so make sure you're cleaning your clippers all right so summer pruning like i said vigorous growth suppression and heavy fruiting spurs and winter pruning structure okay you're working on structure so a little bit different ball game all right but summer pruning very very important all right especially on producing trees